we're finally here. How's it going, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. We're here at Mobile World Congress. We're not even at day one yet, but LG's already announced a bunch of new devices that we're pretty excited about. One of those is the Optimus 3D Max. Now, this is the world's slimmest and brightest 3D smartphone, as the plaque says. And this is one of the ones uh, that we're seeing here at uh, LG's booth at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. So you can see, you know, just reading off the specs here, because I am uh, a little bit fresh to these myself. A 1.2 gigahertz, uh, according to this tri-dual architecture, dual-core memory for top performance. It has a uh, 5 megapixel dual camera on the back for recording 3D content. So very similar to the Optimus 3D that we've seen in the past. This is just the Optimus 3D Max. So out of the box you're seeing Android 2.3. It's ice cream sandwich upgradable and it's 9.6 millimeters thick and it's got a 4.3 inch display. So you can see and I think the uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is right up there. So you can see good looking display. Let's do a walk through here the actual interface and take a look. So it looks like LG's custom user interface but it looks a little bit different from what we've seen in the States. You know on some of their other uh, devices. The Nitro HD, the uh, Spectrum and more. You can see some minor revisions it's a good looking display. It's a WVGA 3D display, according to this, for high brightness 3D viewing, so you can watch all of your 3D content uh, on your device without, I'm not really sure what that was, but all of your 3D content on your device uh, without an issue. So you can see 3D camera, 3D gallery, so you get some 3D stuff out of the box. Game converter, 3D guide, 3D space, Asphalt 6, and more than applications we can see out of the box. You get uh, alarm clocks, a couple typical LG things you get, let's see, down through here. And you can see it looks much more fluid than uh, previous versions of LG's custom user interface that I've seen and at least worked with on devices uh, in the past and reviewed. So it's a good looking, uh, good looking unit. Preserves LG's typical form factor here. And again, 9.6 millimeters thin. Uh, it's going to be a pretty pocketable device. No word just yet on when this is coming to the States or if it's coming to any carrier or anything like that. But rest assured, we'll keep you updated on PhoneDog.com. More, more coverage to come from Mobile World Congress. So keep it locked in the site for continuing coverage at LG's press conference. I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. We'll see you next time.